we've been really happy with um, the fact that people who start this program finish it. We have very little absenteeism. And so in other words, the load is not too heavy, but certainly they walk away with a lot of materials and a lot of ideas and a lot of scholarship. And the expectation is for teachers to attend, obviously, all of these sessions and participate. Participate in our rigorous evaluation program, which we have, as well as to produce a lesson plan using some of the content that they have learned and a primary source. These lesson plans are then posted on our local Blackboard site for our teachers to share and so they can then see the implementation of it. And I think it's important to note that on our pre and post evaluations of teachers and kids in this program, we saw by far the greatest gain amongst our K-3 teachers because, admittedly, they didn't have that background, so they, they tend to learn very quickly. Within a school, it's even though other teachers may be, te other grade levels may be teaching different content, it's that pedagogy and the historical thinking, uh, well, if they can do that in second grade, I can do that in third grade or I can do that in fourth grade. So, and the kids are starting to demand it too because the kids are starting to say, well, last year we did such and such. And so we're starting to see that ripple effect as well, which is, um, which is really neat to see. The, and, and the confidence level of the teachers because they can go beyond what our state document requires, which is pretty detailed in terms of of content and really to me putting the story back in history and we all know that given the story and the relevance of those stories it can be much more motivating and engaging for kids. And I have to say to be straight up they desperately need the resources in those classrooms. There are very few of them every time I was out with teachers they were spending every dime they'd ever earned buying things for their classrooms. So if we were able to give them some of the tools, the objects, recreate colonial games and those kinds of things, um, teach the letters with a colonial doll in the way that they used to teach them in colonial times, that, that's a, um, something that's deeply appreciated by them and I think it's a little bit of a give back to them to give them those tools that they really need. So we, cre we gave as part of the grant, each of these primary teachers received an artifact box with a lot of these um, objects in it that they would then take back to their classroom. Primary teachers really appreciate the information to go back to their schools to say, I'm not taking time away from um, a No Child Left Behind subject. I am in fact using history to teach literacy. I am teaching reading through nonfiction and frankly kids prefer nonfiction. They want to know it's a true story. They want to know history. I didn't have to recruit at all K-3. They recruited each other. They had set up after school specials to pull people in to say this is what I got, this is what I did, this is why I loved it. And they were always full, those, those groups.